As here I have Galaxy Watch, it's in brick state and I will show you how to unbrick it. But in the beginning I would like to thank uh, Mr. Adfree from XDA Developer Forum. He helped uh, a lot uh, providing me valuable information. Without him I would not be able to fix that. So he is really a resourceful guy and a very kind one. So uh, so thank you very much Mr. Ad3. So we will proceed and I will show you how to fix that Galaxy Watch. Uh, Galaxy Watch which is bricked and I will show you how you can fix it in case if you don't have wireless download mode available. This is model is uh, R810 and uh, so to switch uh, to different modes you press power button and keep it pressed. At this time you press two times power or maybe three times. Okay, now you have different options here. Pressing on power button you can switch from them. I will show you wireless mode doesn't work. To choose you press power and keep it pressed, release. And now it shows you wireless mode doesn't work. Also it could show you teasing logo that flower and it's stuck on it. So what are you gonna do? First I will switch the watch to download mode three times power. Now I'm pressing power here until I get to download mode. I press and keep power released. Now it's in download mode. You can see here mode over the top, status, custom, reactivation lock off, Warranty void zero, security download enabled. So, how to fix it? You can use the wireless, you can use wired connection to the PC. Here at the bottom, you have, uh, you will see the hole. Actually, now it's exposed, and you see five contacts there. You see, Samsung call them. Factory Pogo, and I will show you why it's Pogo in just a little while. This hole will be covered, but that kind of plastic cover. So, and you will see a kind of a little notch which you can pry by screwdriver, which I did already. So, next. You need to keep to buy this one on eBay. You can find it for five, seven, three, four. It depends where you find. So this is the charger for Samsung Gear S. So next, you're gonna remove this cover from the top, and you will get this. It's inside. So I use the sharp knife you can use a file so I try to make it a little bit thinner to this thing can go into inside and into this hole so you plug by the USB cable here that's it so in a little while I will show you how you can flash it You will need to download the latest driver. Just a second, I will show you on my PC. This one, it's a version 1.5.65. It's very important because if you have less than this, it will not recognize the device. Also, you need to download 
Odin version 3.1.3. So next we will. So I will show you how you can plug it. And your idea is to keep it firmly without moving. So you need to find the right position so it will stay connected without disconnecting like for three, four, five minutes. And you will hear a noise uh, like it's connecting. Okay, so now you hear the noise, it's connected and we can see in devices I installed here on the PC. It's USB DevU application. At the top you can see it says Samsung Mobile COM37. This one is actually we need. So now I start Odin. And here the most important thing you see this. It means it's connected. So now you, you need the firmware. And you need to have a right firmware. Because if you have the different letters here, it could be what you can break device even more worse. So I didn't change anything in options here, just leave it as it is. When you choose BL, you choose file what says BL here. AP file, I pick AP file. It will take longer to load. Important thing here to keep watch your keep watch connected all the time until it will flash to the end because Odin if you will hear like the watch gap disconnected it will uh, not connect once you loaded everything so you should make it clear like uh, you connected watch and you never disconnect during until the end of the flash okay so we move to the third file this one csc So you load BL, AP and CSC in everyone in the right place and I hit start. Okay, it didn't work so I will start it over because probably I don't know I didn't hear like it was disconnected but maybe it did happen. So I'll try it again. Okay guys, so there is one easy shortcut. You can try to flash only BL file, it will be bootloader. It's very small file, so it will load faster. And uh, because I was failing to load all this AP, AP is very long file, it's very big. So I just flashed BL from the right firmware and as you can see I now have a wireless mode fixed. I'm gonna show you again. So I press and hold power for long, it will close. Rebooting, now I choose wireless download mode, press power, keep it pressed. Now I press and keep, press and keep, check this out, see, now it's switching to the right wireless mode. One, now you press twice on the power button. Now it's change, changing connection mode to something else. It will be actually access point. And we don't need any more wired connection. So what I'm gonna do
I have a charger here. I want to put this on the charger. So we have enough charge during the flashing mode. Now we will need the application. It's called Net Odin. I will put the download link in the description. What we're gonna do once you put this the clock in AP mode, it refers to access points. So here in the Wi-Fi, you should have watch. You see, SMR810X. So I press connect. It will take a little while. It will circle in here. But what we need actually, here the IP address, see it's empty. But after a little while we will get the connection. Just be patient. In some cases it helps to open network and sharing center. The thing is, maybe, maybe not, it's waiting until it will get the designation like home network, public network, etc. Now it's not yet here and there is no IP yet, but we will wait. What, what is happening here now on the watch, actually, you can see it. It's saying something like timing out or blah, blah, blah. So just a little patient. Look at this here. He says home network. And now we got IP address here, you see? So now it will be much easier to flash the rest because this file is huge. As I said before, Actually, I want to try to flash this one, double X. Let's see what's gonna happen, because my watch is a live demo unit, I'm trying to fix that thing. So maybe it will be fixed, flashing this way. So. As you can see, there is a difference. At the top, it says net Odin. It means, and here it says Tizen. This application is specifically made to connect to your watch by wireless connection, wireless download mode. Okay, so I will skip forward and uh, I will show you later what hey will guys. happen. So the flashing process started and you can see it's sending data now. And if you're curious what's going on on the clock, on the watch actually, you can see in green it says connected to and it shows you IP address of the my computer. Battery is in 39. Download start. And you can see the blue line, it's the progress of the flashing. Now I'm flashing only AP and CSC. And I skip bootloader. Okay, guys, so I successfully flashed uh, Galaxy Watch after it was bricked. It seems to be working fine at this moment. This is a regular uh, welcome screen. So, in order to use it, you need to use uh, the download this application on your phone and try to connect it. 
so watch looks fixed 